Welcome to the View Progress button tutorial. The Sync Fusion View Progress button is used to show the progress of the button action. Look at this Download button. The progress of the button action is shown, which lets you estimate how long the completion of the action will take. In this video, I will show you how to create a view app and add the view progress button component with built-in features to customize the icon and spinner positions. I will also show you how to animate the button content and the progress button spinner. I will start with the application creation process. I'm going to create a view application using the view v command. Make sure you have installed the latest versions of view in Node.js. To create a project in view, I open Visual Studio Code and type the command npm create v at latest. I provide the app name, my view app. Next, I choose view as the framework and JavaScript as the variant. The view project has been created. I navigate to the newly created view app and install the required dependencies using the npm install command. Now the application is configured with the default settings of a V project. To add the View Progress button component, I install the Sync Fusion View Split Buttons package using the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2 view split buttons hyphen hyphen save. This command will install the split buttons package along with its dependencies. Once the installation is completed, the application is ready to use. The first thing I must do here is register the trial license key to use the SyncFusion components. I open the main JS file and import the register license method from the SyncFusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the trial license key. To see how to generate the license key, refer to the link in the description below. The application is now configured to use Sync Fusion View components. To start using the progress button, I open the app view page and remove the default code snippets. First, I import the progress button component from the Sync Fusion View split buttons package. Then I add the CSS references by importing the material theme. Here I have added dependent CSS references like buttons and pop-ups. And add the progress button by adding EJ's progress button tag. Then I set the content of the progress button to download. I save the changes and run the application using the npm run dev command. The progress button is rendered with the provided content. And when I click the button, the spinner is shown. If I want to change the button type to primary, I set the isPrimary property to true. You can see the primary progress button type has a pink background. When I click the button, the spinner is positioned at the left side of the text content. To change the spinner position to right, top, or bottom, I need to use the position property. I define the spin settings object and within it, set the position property to right. I also want to set a custom width for the spinner, so let me set the width property with a custom value. I then assign this object to the spin settings property of the progress button. Now when I click the progress button, the spinner is positioned on the right side of the text content with the custom width. Next, I will show you how to set custom styles for the spinner using the template property. Within the spin settings object, I define the template property and assign a division element with the class template. Now I'm going to define a few CSS styles for this template class and an animation effect using the keyframes rule. See now, when I click the progress button, the custom spinner is shown with the animation effect. Next, I will show you how to apply animation to the progress button content. The view progress button supports seven different animation effects, slide left, slide right, slide up, slide down, and so on. 
I want to slide the button content up when the button is clicked. So I define an object named animation settings and set the effect to slide up. I also set the duration and easing properties with appropriate values. I then assign this object to the animation settings property of the progress button. Looking at the progress button now, the content moves upward of the button. Now I will show you how to set an icon to this download button. I define a variable named icon CSS and assign the class names eButton SB icon and eDownload. I then assign this variable to the icon CSS property of the progress button. Within this style section, define a font face with a specific source path and name to start accessing the download font icon at the application level. Then for this class name assigned to the icon CSS property, I assign the appropriate content value to access the download font icon. See the progress button now displayed with the download icon. By default, the icon is positioned on the left side of the progress button. If you want to customize the icon position, use the icon position property. Apart from the default left position, it can also be displayed at the top, right, and bottom. I place the icon on the right side of the button content. So I will set the icon position property to right. See now the icon is positioned on the right side. Finally, I will show you how to change the button content during the progress state. I'm going to retain the content, icon CSS, and icon position properties, and remove all other properties from the progress button code for better clarity. I would like to show the downloads progress in the button. So I will hide the spinner by setting the eHide Spinner class to the CSS class property. Then, enable the Enable Progress property to show the progress in the button. Next, to change the button content during the progress state, I will use Progress button events. First, I will add the Begin event with the appropriate event handler. Then, I define the event handler and change the button text to downloading using the content property. When I click the progress button, the button content changes to downloading. If I want to change the button text to download after the progress completion, I can use the end event. I add the end event here with the appropriate event handler. Then define the event handler. and set the button content to download after the progress is completed. Look at the progress button now. The button content changes to download after the completion of progress. In this video, I have shown you how to create a view project and add the Sync Fusion View Progress button component. You saw how to set icons in different spinner positions and how to add events to the progress button component. You also saw how to animate the button content and the progress button spinner. If you'd like to see a working example of this, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our view products through our community license. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.